Good morning, folks. Heck of a day to be an observer. The Quake Watch hits again with a big one in the East Pacific. We'll be giving away a trip to Observing the Frontier 2018 for one lucky website member tonight. We've got galactic alignments confirmed and a storm alert, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were mostly calm watching the incoming coronal hull, but we did get one small flare towards the end of the day yesterday. Incoming sunspot is still alone and quiet, but the departing group finally was able to release a CME now that he no longer faced Earth. It was not a large flare, went out 90 degrees away from Earth's trajectory. Solar wind is still elevated from normal, but we are very steady and almost calm at this slightly elevated state, leaving geomagnetism calm and good, all green. Of course, in the middle of what could be the most significant large earthquake drought on record, for some reason we decided to place an earthquake alert for this week. Two days ago, the news was called Quake Factors Peaking. Yesterday, we saw Greece took a deadly event, and today we report a powerful magnitude 6.9 earthquake that struck at Blot Echo depths beneath Guatemala. It was felt across a wide area up at the surface still. Luckily, the depth appears to have kept major damage at bay this round. Folks, it's been a big story that's come out from quite a number of scientists studying various parts of the sky. It was a huge part of my talk at the Electric Universe Conference last year, and now we have some more information about galactic alignments and just how old they are. Folks, not only do we see stars and galaxies form in lines equidistant from one another, but cosmic jets are aligned with other jets nearby, and it's been that way for about as long as we can tell. Up next... We're at the Perseus Cluster, where the central mini-halo has just been imaged better than ever before, and boy does it exhibit the spider legs like Billy's electric bolts when discharged into pyrenine water. A simply incredible image, but there are peculiar aspects to it as well, like these straight, carved lines seen down to the right in the image in question. Or, how about something you can see in full color, but which is illuminated, literally, when you play with the image, seeing a grid-like background, like a piece of graph paper, is less than encouraging for a member of the online communities watching this program. Hello, by the way. Folks, this is a station map from Nevada yesterday showing record precipitation, record low temperatures, and record low high temperatures for the day, all broken. It's not getting the play that the eastern heat is getting in the news, but... The pattern shift has brought something just as relevant to climate discussions to the western U.S., and this is just one example. Sadly, most people have no idea it's going on. Lastly, folks, atmospheric potential energy looks messy for the U.S. convergence line tonight and everything east and north in the storm's path. We've got the wind maps, null school, and shots of our star to close. Remember, at the end of the day today, we'll be drawing a winner from the website member's pool to get two tickets, three nights hotel stay, and a $200 travel voucher to Observing the Frontier 2018. We'll be announcing the winner in tomorrow's news. We'll do this run again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.